Hi everyone, today I am going to tell you about a very interesting website. Having fun with games is part of our upbringing, right? Here is a simple game titled Random Number Guess. On this website, the compiler will fix a random number from 1 to 100. And our goal is to determine exactly what it will fix. And along with the way, we get a hints like you are thinking beyond the number or thinking too little to reach it. In addition, the compiler will set a different number for every time you visit this website, which is a very good feature of this website that user won't feel bored. So once let's play this game. Uh, so here, like, uh, first suppose it will fix a random number, right? I'm clicking 50 and check. It is saying too low. So let me try 60. Too high. So it is ranging from 50 to 60. Let's let's take 55. No, 54. No, sorry, too high, right? Yeah. So I'm taking the least numbers. 53. 52. And I think it's 51. Yes. So the final answer is 51. So the compiler has taken 51 as its random number. For every time you reach this website, it will consider a different number. The updation of this website can be like, we can keep the maximum limit of the count. Like uh, only five chances. In the five chances, the uh, user need to find the number. That can be the updation of this website. Now let's go to the code now so before explaining you the code part i want to say about some two functions like math.random and math.seal the math.random is a function which returns a floating value ranging from 0 to 1 like 0 0.1 0 0.2 like that but one will not be included in that as in this website we need to get the numbers from 1 to 100, we need to multiply the generated number with 100. Then we need to use math.seal which rounds a number up to the next largest number. These two functions will be used in this website. For example, uh, I'll show how these two functions will work. Like let x equal to math.random into 100 next i'm printing that x value in the console next i'll use a math.seal function to get a number from 1 to 100 seal of x if I run the program, so the generated number for math.random into 100 is 34.200. As math.seal function will generate a number which is the largest number to the number is 35. Means it rounds to the largest number. If for suppose we have 34.0 as the random number, it will keep as 34 only but if we have any 34.2 or 34.3 it rounds to the next largest number right this is about the math.seal and math.random function i discuss these two uh, functions because i'll use these two functions in my website so now now let's see the html part of this website so initially i have added an image uh, here in this container Next, I added a paragraph element like find out the right number between 1 to 100. Next, I have started another container. In this container, I have added a heading like guess the number with an image question mark. Next, as we need the input from the user, I have used an input tag here. And the type of that input will be text. As we are giving only the text part, like which need to be visible for both the user and the compiler, I have used the text as the type. And here you can give 25 or you can give A, B, C, anywhere, anything. Like for suppose I have given other than number text, if I click check, it will show me as an in, uh, output like please provide valid input as it needs only 1 to 100 as the input, right? So now, 
Next, uh, after this, I have kept a button like check. And next, uh, we use a paragraph element. And for this, initially, we won't uh, have any text here. Since I ha not added nothing here, because that game result will appear only if you click check, which is dynamically. So as we need the output dynamically, because we need to link it to the JavaScript, I have used ID here. I have given the ID to the paragraph like game result. And for user input also, I have uh, used the ID user input because I need these two IDs in my JavaScript. Now let's go to the JavaScript part. CSS, I have given accordingly how I designed here. And this JavaScript, what I need ID is like game result. Game result is text part. So by using document.getElement by ID, I bought the element from the HTML to JavaScript. Next, user input and game result I have bought from the HTML. As I discussed how I generated the random number by using math.seal and math.random, I have written this third line. So what next? So this part will be executed every time if you run this, if you refresh or if you come to this website. So what next? Let guest number equal to percent because every time if you enter in this input part you get an uh, the compiler take it as a string value but as we need to consider it as an integer value we need to change it to the integer by type casting like percent function so the user input value i'm type casting with percent now the guest number will have an integer value which we give here like 50. Yes. Now we, we need to compare this guest number with the random number generated by the compiler. If the guest number is greater than the random number, we'll say too high. Try again. With background color, it's uh, dark red. Next, if the guest number is less than the random number, it will show the output like too high. Try again. With the with some background color. As they both are equal, then we reached our goal, right? So congratulations, you got it right with the background color green. These all are conditions were fine because they pro uh, as the user given our number, it will be fine. But if the user given like ABC or any integer or any alphabet, then it, uh, will, sh it will show an error like Please provide a valid input with the background color red as it is a caution for the user to enter only numerical values. Now let's see how we need to call this function from the HTML. What is the function of the like name of this function is check guess. We need to call this check guess function if the user clicks checks but check button. So here I used an on click function. So if the user clicks check guess and the output, then this part check guess function will be executed from the JavaScript. This is how I created a dynamic game website. Hope you like my website and you enjoyed the game and follow my web, uh, videos for further websites. Thank you.